Hello my dear children welcome back to our english class in the previous class we studied the poem mountain and the squirrel today we are going to studying the new chapter that is the rightful inheritors of the earth everyone is talented and has something to contribute to the society man is always in the company of animals birds insects and often share his thoughts concern doubts and frustrations with them let's read and enjoy a short story by waika mohammad bashir this is a short story written by waika mohammad bashir who is waika mohammad bashir waika mohammad bashir was a malayalam fiction writer he was a humanist freedom fighter novelist and short story writer He was noted for his down to earth style of writing that made him equally popular among literary critics as well as common man. This extract is taken from the translation of the story Bhoomiyude Avagashikal. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1982. He is fondly known as Beppu Sultan. Let's read the story first. When I became the owner of a tiny little piece of his white earth i felt very happy it was a two acre plot with coconut palms and an old house where we could live those were the days when the price of coconuts was going up and i was in high spirits at the thoughts of palms laden with coconuts but then came the trespassers they did not care about the fence we had put up at the boundary moreover they did not seem to be at all afraid of my watchdog shan they did not seem to care for anyone in the world not even the government the first arrival were birds and butterflies a wide variety of birds and so many many butterflies perched on the boughs the birds chirped on and on the butterflies fluttered around in the courtyard flashing the colors in the sunlight then came the crows their rashes cawing was unbearable than the racket of other birds but the worst was that they missed no chance to swoop down on our hands and cheeks next to arrive were the hawk birds that perched on our coconut palms however while they sat in higher planes their aims were just as low down in the dust the hawks and the crows had the same agenda while they watched and waited in the first paragraph we can see that the writer that is waika muhammad bashir became the owner of a tiny little piece of this wide earth we know that the earth is very wide and he became the owner of a tiny little piece which means he buy a little piece of land he feel very happy it was a two acre plot with the coconut palms and an old house those were the days when the price of coconuts was going up that means prices of coconuts were very high and he was in the high spirit at the thought of palm laden with coconuts because in his land there are plenty of coconut trees so the days were the when the price of coconuts was very high In the next paragraph what happened there came many trespassers what is mean by trespassers that is the illegal entry of someone into a place they did not care about the fence they did not care about the boundary wall or boundary of the place that is waikam muhammad bushi we had put up at the boundary that is the bushi was put up a boundary Moreover they did not seem to be at all afraid of my watchdog Shan Bashir was a watchdog that is named as Shan he that is the trespassers did not afraid of the watchdog Shan and they did not care for anyone in the world not even the government so here we can see that trespassers are very bold they not at all afraid of the vast dog shan not at all afraid of anyone in the world not even the government 
the first arrival were birds and butterflies so who are the trespassers yes the birds and butterflies they entered into the bashir's house without any legal or illegal entry of someone is known as trespassers here birds and butterflies are arrived at the bashir's house without any permission butterflies and birds are flying around the courtyard flashing the colors in the sunlight then came the crows the next to trespasser is crows the rashes crowing was unbearable than the racket of other birds because the crows are very dirty sound so it is very unbearable which means very disturbing but the birds and the crows were never missed the chances to swoop down on our hands and cheeks in the courtyard there are many hens and chicks and the birds and the crows are disturbing the hens and chicks in order to swooping down the next trespasser is hawks they reached at the coconut palms and even though they were sitting in the higher planes their aim was at the dust that means their aim to the hens and chicks so here crows birds and hawks are eagerly waiting for the hens and chicks no were they alone there were mongooses in the bamboo thicket and there were foxes in the shrubs close by ready to pounce on the hens then there were rats rats of course were found everywhere even as i wondered what right all these creatures had to be on my land there arrived a fierce creature without paws or wings a cobra it stood before me dignified majestic its hood spread out it hissed as if asked me what business i had on this land didn't you know that i was the new owner you had better leave my two acre land at once i said but then where could it go had not the whole earth been taken over by man bit by bit not the birds crows and hawks are alone there were mongooses in the bamboo thicket and there were foxes in the shrubs close by ready to pounce on the hens and we can see that there are not only the birds crows and hawks there were also mongooses in the bamboo thicket and also the foxes are ready to pounce on the hens ready to catch the hens there were rats also we know that rats are very famous so rats are found everywhere even as i wondered that is bushy wondered that all these creatures had to be on my land there arrived a fears creature without paws or wings and there arrived another creature that has without paws or wings that is a cobra it stood before me dignified majestic it hood spread out it hissed as if he asking me what business i had on this land he it was standing like what business had on this land because this is my land and bashir replied that didn't you know that i was the new owner it is better to you that you should leave my two acre land at once but where could it go the whole earth been taken over by man bit by bit which means the whole earth is owned by the man human being bit by bit that is part by part hello my dear children this is all for today hope you all understand today's class and it is a short part of the story 